we're just going to go ahead and get right to the food. I have some really beautiful summer produce in a distinctive and lovely color, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So we're going to get into it and do a gilded rendition of a summer staple. Behold, fall to your knees and worship golden gazpacho. The dish we are doing today will receive its distinctive golden hue from two specific types of produce. The one I have here in my hand is a golden cherry tomato of the teardrop or pear variety, and I'm using them today because they taste amazing. They, they're just bursting with tomato flavor, and they have, of course, this beautiful, beautiful color. I'm also using them because my mother is growing them, and she has them coming out of her ears. The other element that's going to be giving the dish its beautiful color is this. This is a cucumber, believe it or not. It is a lemon cucumber. These are a really nice little thing. Cucumbers are nice right now, plus they make a wonderful cooling soup in the summer months. Lemon cucumbers, they have this beautiful color and they're also notable for their high amount of flesh to seed ratio. So they're great for applications like this. And we're gonna get to it right now. For golden gazpacho, you will need two cups yellow tomatoes. We like cherry one cup lemon cucumber, one quarter cup onion, two tablespoons olive oil or to taste, two tablespoons fresh oregano plus additional for garnish, one small clove garlic, one teaspoon mustard, one teaspoon agave syrup, juice of one half lemon, one eighth cup soaked sun-dried tomatoes, sea salt and pepper to taste, and red jalapeno for garnish. First thing I did was make sure that my sun-dried tomatoes are well soaked. Sun-dried tomatoes, you say? Why, yes. Traditionally, gazpacho contains stale bread, which is used to kind of thicken it, give it some body, give it some oomph. And we're not going to be doing that, but we are going to be including a little bit of these nice, well-soaked sun-dried tomatoes. They're going to give it a little bit of thickness, a little bit of hearty richness. And they're not golden, they're not in keeping with the theme. If only I had some homemade, organic, sun-dried heirloom tomatoes. Anyway, I've got these guys and they're ready to go. What I did next was make sure that all my little sun-dried, oh, they're not sun-dried, they're just sunny colored. What I did next was make sure that all of my little cherry tomatoes here were washed and de-stemmed. I denuded my garlic, of course they chopped up my onion, and washed and cut up my lemon cucumbers. Then all this business just goes in my food processor, like it always does. First, you're going to take half of your cherry tomatoes and put them into your food processor, along with your sun-dried tomato and your garlic. You're going to add your olive oil and blend them. Blend them until they're begging for mercy. This yaw makes our soup base, so you want it to be pretty well incorporated. It's going to be hopefully nice and thick like this, still soupy, maybe a little creamy looking. And then you're ready to go ahead and add the rest of your ingredients. The rest of your tomatoes, your cucumber, your onion, salt, pepper, and your oregano. That looks kind of good. I want to get a spoon. seem like I'm just making this up as I go, but um, this is good. It needs a little something. So I'm going to add some agave syrup, 
some stone ground mustard, and a little bit of fresh lemon juice. That is a little bit more like it. This is the flavor that I like and a texture I find most enjoyable. I wanted to put in the mustard because mustard is a useful kind of emulsifying agent in dressings and soups like this one. It can help things stay together a little more harmoniously. And don't we all like the harmonious this this? I'm gonna go ahead and put this into a bowl and garnish it with some flowers and some pepper. See? Doesn't that look nice? With the power of your food processor alone, you're getting all alchemical on it and transmuting tomatoes into gold. This is a super easy, light, satisfying, delightful summer meal, and it's, you know, it's going from the garden onto your table in no time flat. You can see we have our garnish of our beautiful little red peppers and our oregano blossoms. Nice little touch if you can get it. Even if you can't, this is a wonderful dish. It's liquid salad, and it's so easy. I hope you'll try it because it is a wonderful thing.